After taking a long hiatus from the red carpet, Catherine, who said she's very lucky to be a royal princess, looked especially royal for this occasion. Even by the Princess of Wales's standards, she nailed it. While there were flashbulbs aplenty, the princess made an appearance at England's National Portrait Gallery Gala, wearing another of her favourite labels, Temple London. Tastes are tastes, and Middleton's crown-approved looks aren't for everyone, but this is as close to objectively good as it gets, right? It's the most appropriate thing she can wear for who she is in the space she's taking up for the event at hand. It's like the lace gown was reverse-engineered for this night. Just last month, she and her husband Prince William attended the BAFTAs. At the Film Awards, she stunned in a floor-sweeping floral Alexander McQueen dress. It was a fitting label for her return to the red carpet, since the fashion house was responsible for her now iconic wedding gown. For the formal occasion, Catherine wore a floor-length long-sleeved emerald green lace dress to view two new exhibitions, as well as meet with the museum's guests, donors and members. The Alova lace covered a subtle sweetheart neckline and flared out into a slight A-line. There was a matching bow belt and she finished the look with gold sandals and a coordinating metallic clutch. Of course, the princess's now famous blowout was present and accounted for, as well as her sapphire and diamond engagement ring. In true Middleton style, it was a polished and put together look that was classic and current all at once. Naturally, it was custom made for the princess, so you can't pick up the exact same look for your next museum gala. The earrings, which aren't especially noticeable under a bouncy blowout, are Kiki McDonough, Tourmalin and Amethyst Drop earrings. It's small, but the candy-coloured pink base adds the tiniest bit of contrast, like a nod to artsiness for the evening. These are my fun earrings, you can almost hear her say. This will kick it up a notch. The purse by Wilbur and Gussie rounded out her outfit with a third British designer, again right on theme and perfectly appropriate. All she needed to further proclaim her love of the United Kingdom was a Burberry coat. Kate is an avid art fan and she famously studied art history when she attended St Andrews. She's the patron of the National Portrait Gallery and was shown around the building showing keen interest in artwork on display. Kate was introduced to the parents of a child who attends Thomas's school in Battersea, where George is set to enrol in September. We were chatting about Thomas, the school George will go to. He also revealed that they told Kate she and William had picked a great school for George and she replied saying they might bump into each other at the school gates. If there's one thing for sure, it's that Catherine always makes a statement no matter what event she attends with lace dress style. Attending the Royal Variety performance at Palladium Theatre, she looked fabulous in a black lace and sheer Alexander McQueen gown. The entire dress was outlined in black velvet and the hem of the skirt was plaited with velvet panels. Kate accessorised a stunning look with a black velvet clutch, pointed black suede pumps and dazzling circular diamond drop earrings. In true Kate style, her dark brown hair was down in perfectly voluminous curls as she rocked a signature blowout. The princess has worn many iconic looks, but the stunning white lace self-portrait dress she wore to the premiere of A Street Cat named Bob in London back will always be one of her most memorable and beautiful gowns. Kate's white floral lace gown with a cinched-in waist and billowing plaited maxi skirt was so incredibly flattering that everyone from elegant European royals to celebrities like Paris Hilton rushed to buy the dress.